Hello everyone, we're back with Bjorn Sintrolo's uh, fabulous adventures. At this point we were trying to intercept a um, French, no, no, a Spanish trader that is supposed to be carrying a lot of gold. See if you can catch her. We entered this little English town, uh, this little trading post. Let's not talk to the governor, huh? because that would uh, <coughs> that would lead to us getting cred from him and not the Dutch. And this uh, at this point, we're trying to impress the Dutch. And we can welcome a few guys aboard. We can keep about 200 guys in our hold. <laughs> at our hold. I'd like to imagine that uh, the crew you're sitting there in the hold. Yes, tell me about Gran Granada. This is such an annoying place to re reach. As you can see, it's across the continent, and uh, I can't really recall I ever gone to Gran Granada. And as you see, the town garrison is quite hefty. Um, we might have trouble attacking it. Yes, we can attack towns, and yes, we will be doing this. More talk about this Henry Morgan guy. Am I supposed to be impressed? Let's check the ship right. Everything is alright. Go to visit the merchants, and let's actually sell a bit of food. That's, I usually try to keep about three months worth of food. And so... There's another poor English port. We can visit the tavern. That's a few guys. Welcome aboard, mate. Now we won't have three months worth of food, but... Yeah, tell me about this place. 420 soldiers, also quite strong. The governor of Antigua's daughter is beautiful. That's good to no. know. So much information about Henry Morgan. I'm not interested in him right now. Um, let's check the status and check Antigua. Where is Antigua? port right here. Will we be catching any Spaniards if we go out in the... There they are. Uh, let's attack the trade galleon and at this point let's actually try to avoid the escort. We don't have any chain shot and it's I can feel the urge, just press that 7 button. Oh, we're taking so much damage. Oh, we were not able to avoid the escorts anyway. Let's go with the Cutlass and uh, deal with these guys as quickly as possible. There are plenty of ports around and uh, we might still get more crew. But um, it could become a problem uh, since uh, it takes a little time for those men that are eager to go to go to the pirating life before they actually... It, it takes a bit for the, the guys to respawn, is, is all. Let's not keep this um, ship. And there's a reason for this, because I do not want to deal with sailing her right now. And go straight to the trade galleon. And this time, let's pick the long sword instead. I think we can manage without the extra defense. You see how slow it is. There is a. Those trader captains are usually not as good of fighters as the escorts or the military or the pirate hunters and such. So I can. Uh, 
appreciate taking the long sword sometimes to just get get done with it quicker. Yeah, she had a thousand gold. That's good. Let's sink her and take everything. The English will be glad with us for doing this. I think they were at the war with... They are not. The politics have changed. Right now we are sucking up to the French. Have we been attacking the French? Yeah, we have. I guess we should avoid the Spanish then. Spend more time with uh, beating on the the French. We might be able to deal with this uh, because we do have a bit of guys in these towns that we're able to gather up. Here is an annoying mm. captain. <laughs> He's pestering the staff of this establishment. Let's uh, take a little fight outside. Oh. oh, we want to fight us inside. We, we can fight inside. A little friendly bar fencing session. Bomb made to the rescue. He landed on the broken glass, so that could not have been pleasant. Oh. More men, I'm impressed. Welcome these guys aboard. Additional parts of Bart Roberts. Yes, uh, let me see. At least we do see the landmark that we can use to navigate to this place, but we don't know where this lookout shallows is. Uh, if we see Lookout Shallows, let's uh, let, let's keep our eye out to Lookout Shallows. I think. See if we can visit Montserrat. Oh, they don't want us to uh, actually dock. You know what? Let's go ashore and just properly attack them. I mean, just because we're pirates doesn't mean we can get out of the ship and have a little fight. And uh, we have three start locations that we can shift between. And I'm not too glad with either of them. Uh, I think the main concern with this one is these guys over here. They, they are so far away. At least we're together at this this location, but um, the Spaniards also have a lot of forest to hide in, but this is possibly the worst one. So let's go with this one. Oh, they have cavalry. That's not good. Uh, the cavalry is very strong, but they do have... Um, a trick to beating them because they have strength 8 which is which is by far the strongest unit uh, when attacking uh, straight on but they also have lesser of a, a um, ability to fight when they are in themselves attacked they are they are worse at defending they are about as strong as our um, Pirate guys, when we, when it's like that, and all our troops are tripping over themselves. The cavalry, however, is weakest in the forest, and these guys went straight into the forest. 
So, let's see if we can lure them to keep attacking. I really don't want to do this, but let's anyway. I am going to run these guys into the forest. That would leave their flank to the cavalry. That could be a problem. Um, but uh, I will take the risk in order to get them there sooner. Um, we get to shoot at the cavalry. You see that little um, red uh, blinking thing there? That means that we have targeted them. They do have cover, however, and they only deal half, deal half damage. Cavalry will take damage, as any unit will, by, uh, by shooting them. These ordinary guys, they have uh, guns as well, sadly. Oh! You see that? Forest through three. They still deal a lot of damage. Our officer could help hold them, though, however. 9 to 3 pirates, that's a kind of even fight. I'm so glad for the forest right now. No! They broke into it. Alright, then you get to see where we can use our officers here. Where we are able to know. Let's not use the officers, I think we will go with these. Uh... Yeah, well, let's, let's use the officers. Uh, we'll move them up on the hill here. That means we have a height advantage, and we will be flanking, and the cavalry will be attacking, and they will be in the forest. So see how strong they are now. Fort through three. We just tore right through them. Let's attack. Uh, we could move into the forest, but that wouldn't leave us up to a flank attack, and uh, all this... All these guards have guns, and they will shoot. These pirates will not probably fare very well, because I think all the guards there will retaliate. See if we can shoot at anyone. We can shoot at the guys over in cover there. Um, can we move? Yeah, we can move them into the forest. Moving into the forest will usually end your turn, unless you have those natives. They can move through the jungle without any problem. And these pirates, let's move them into the forest over here, and the reason I do this is to lure the, the AI to shoot at them, uh, because they are in cover. These, guy will not, these guys will not get shot, uh, so I might as well move them up. These guys, however, they do get shot, and that's bad. These natives, they is not always very clear what what uh, weapon type they are of. These guys, they ca carry hatchets, hatches, hatchets, and uh, they it means that they are uh, strength three melee units. So they are a bit weaker than the pirates, but they're more mobile. Um, And since they are weaker, let's actually move these guys up a bit, see if we can get to shoot anyone. No, we can shoot the guys in the forest, but that doesn't do much. Let's move them one more step, I think. Get into shooting distance. Move these guys up. Do we get to shoot anyone? Yes, we can shoot the natives and we can shoot the guards. Let's shoot the guards. The Buccaneers are very weak. They have attack and uh, strength uh, for defense of one, which is they actually they basically get the kick, ass kicked by anyone. But they can shoot. Um, but so can every every one of these guards. So um, these guys are panicked, uh, and there's not very many of them. It means that there will be falling apart pretty soon um, so let's use them for a final flanking attack and see if we can pull some more fire on them 
And the scouts have a main advantage on their morale. So even though we're flanking them, we're still doing 8 towards 6. They could win, and they did. <coughs> we have these... These pirates over here. They could be flanking the, uh, the scouts now, as they have been uh, turned towards our previous guys. Everyone would turn towards the fight, uh, way they were they're fighting. So, we made them scatter. These pirates we could attack right straight on, but to have an advantage we'll go up the hill and down. Oh, we're suffering so much damage right now. Usually I tr prefer to keep in a defensive position, mainly because of all these uh, guards guys that deal so much damage. Since they can shoot. Uh, Let's move these guys down a bit and wait a minute. Uh, these can also shoot, so let's do that. Shoot at the guards. Shoot at the same group of guards. Deal uh, quite a lot of damage to them. These wavering pirates, we could use them for a flank attack. At this point the guards will also have a bonus on fighting. But not that much as the scouts did, so this time we won. And um, the battle is coming to a close. Let's move the officers in. The officers have a fighting strength of 5, they're quite strong. They are actually the only unit we have that is in any way better than what the enemy can produce. So we sacked Monserrat. Tell me about Gibraltar. <laughs> Let's impress some more crew. This time we'll go with the longsword. If we lose this fight, it won't do anything. We'll not get arrested, we won't lose anything. Yeah. It's a... It's a little fun uh, fight, and uh, as the duel goes on, we will not be losing any crew. Since there's only us and this guy fighting, there's no, no nothing at stake here, we can only win. And if we lose, we get to try again. Oh, come on board, mates. Restore our strength a bit. We did lose almost a third of our crew in this attack. It was a rich English ship, but let's not attack her. Oh, I will not repair her. I will sail away though. You can see the uh, garrison of Montserrat is gone. Let's move back to Montserrat again. This time we, uh, since they have so little troops, we are now only fighting the captain of the guards. This is like an, uh, an exactly like an ordinary uh, ship battle. The longer we take, the more guys we lose. Um, so let's finish this. Blew up their tower. See what happened here. We get to choose a new governor. Yes, let's choose a Dutch burger and talk to him. Wellington, Dunham, Imbriglicking. No, I <laughs> could imagine you're happy about this. Huh? Ship repairs will be cheaper in Dutch ports. Not uh, not uh, repairing our ship did pay off. And we get an estate. And we get to dance! Let's jump straight into this.
Started out pretty badly. Continued pretty badly. When I mess up, take the opportunity to actually check out the governor. He stands there and he's checking our progress. See, see what he's doing. It's, it's quite amusing, actually. When you miss a step. He's clearly rooting for us. He's very anxious what his daughter will think about us. I imagine he wants grandchildren. Oh. This is not going well. What? How is it, Bjorn? How are you doing? Do you feel good? Let's see how this turned out. Oh, decently. Oh, she's got the information. Hmm. In the city of Nevis. Note that in my log. Let's check the status and watch the world map. Where is Nevis? Straight up there. We could go and get him. Let's visit the governor again. Sometimes uh, when we do a lot of them for them, they forget to give us a uh, promotion. He did not, however. Go to the shipwright, have it repaired. Visit the tavern. Oh, this is a decent price, and we have the money, let's buy it. We like some bling. More talk about this Nevis place. Le Marine Mort. Skilled Sergeant. It will mean we will be losing less guys, so see if we can intercept that sloop. The Lopa is shooting very much. Invasion force. Where are you going? Puerto Cabello. That's good. There she is, I think. Will we be catching up? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, they know what we're after. Come straight for us. We heard you have a surgeon on board. Have you considered the life as a pirate? We're doing a bit better in speed than they are. They are hitting us though. Trying to seek... Oh, they're desperate now. They're go going with the reef. Let's not hit the reef because that will actually damage us quite a bit as well. And I'm still reaching for that chain shot. Let's not sink this ship. Uh, we want to capture her. We want the surgeon. I'm a bit concerned with this new fangled peace thing that's going on. I don't want and I don't want the people to be at to have this peace. I want them to be at war because that means profit for us. And as the sun settles, we capture the ship. And the surgeon. Basically, when we lose guys, we will get half of them back with this uh, surgeon. Let's not keep her, let's sink her and sail away. Oh, the French are pissed. They're coming for us with the Spanish hunter. The Spanish hunter. I keep, keep calling it Spanish hunter, it's a pirate hunter. Oh, 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 oh! There's a 
walking over. Where is your very girl? Antigua. Let's see if we can uh, go back to Montserrat. When we enter a port, they will forget about us, and that's uh, that's what we want right now. We might actually need to repair her as well. Go to the tavern. This is an unimplemented feature, it does nothing, um, so never buy that. Here's some guys, recruit them. See if the governor has anything new to say. We have been attacking a uh, French uh, ship. Oh! You know what? I happen to have a ruby ring. You can have it. Is this the same guy? You already told me about this. I am. I am disappointed. We were going to capture him. Let's go to Nevis and, and deal with this guy that's hiding. Yes, he must answer to me. This villain. I haven't uh, actually. I don't remember actually that the daughters would give us information they already given us about these uh, villains. I, it it might be possible, but very rare. I think we saw something rare right now. She was the one that talked about it. Anyway. We are Master Swordsman, and we return to face justice in Montserrat. You have certainly earned your reward, but perhaps it's gift of this rare ruby ring. <laughs> of course it's a ruby ring. No, no, he must send trial. I'd rather have 3,000 gold. Let's visit the tavern again and see if there's two guys hiding. No, it's not. I am disappointed. Welcome these guys aboard. Dancing shoes, yes. Improved dancing skills. Wait in Zella. Oh, the French are very pissed at us. Oh, I visited, I visited the governor. Let's talk to the English. Um, he have quite a bit of a different build. They are at war with the slimy French. We will not get any credit now since we haven't attacked the French. We did? Alright. Oh, she will not be dancing with us, though. We are not high enough rank for her. Perhaps one day. Let's not just sell anything, I think. I think we're done here. Let's actually check the status and check the world map. At this point, I would like a little more bit of a plan for what we're doing. St. Martin, I'm glad. I'm sad we can, can't attack her because, because we are going for the going for the French because she seems to be very rich. I'm growing tired of these islands. Let's actually leave here, I think. We hit him. So much happened. We hit the reef as well. That's always expensive. If we check the status Spanish and French war, English and French war, French and Dutch war. At this point we should really be sailing for the sailing for the French. Oh well, can't have everything. So many trade gallons.
There is that pirate everyone is talking about. Here comes Santo Domingo. She doesn't seem too strong. The crew is unhappy. There's a French merchantman. Oh! Indian village. Let's uh, visit them. Where are you going? Tortuga, French town. That's good. Hmm. You're asking me? I think that Santo Domingo is very weak. You should attack them. There are some uh, pirates that are trying to intercept uh, these um, poor warriors. Oh, he has a cutlet, so he's, he's dodging very fast. So we have to build up our advantage a bit in order to be able to hit him. So let's taunt him. No! The advantage evens out as we go up the stairs. Taunt him. Now we can get some damage in. Let's not keep this ship, I think. Sinker. Drop some guns, we don't need the money. again. Now we get to fight a longsword. I think his longsword looks a bit like a cutlass. But we might judge. If he, if he, he says it's a longsword, then it's a longsword. I think this ship is better than our old one. So let's take everything, ditch the guns again, keep a few, and uh, go to the fleet status. 100 max. We will be losing two crew. I think it's worth it. But um, let's not do that yet. Dristigheten is still holding up. She's a bit damaged, but not too much. So let's keep Tristigheten for now. Let's move to this sloop of war though, because she has chain shot. See how much more maneuverable she is. Things make us turn so fast. Though I am surprised that we're not actually faster than they are. Oh, we're a bit, we're a bit faster. You can get a new chain shot. Every one of those hits will make us faster than they are. It will be damaging, damaging the rigging. So now, now we're talking. Now we're quite a bit, a bit more fast than they are. Oh, here comes the shore. Let's not hit that. It won't do anything running, running up the shore, but it will avoid us. Uh, it will prohibit us from maneuvering. And as we cut down the rigging, the crew surrenders. The stripped hulks. So we can just walk in without any having taken any damage. Sink this ship, 
take all they have in the hold. Ditch the guns. Oh no, I'll keep them. Let's escort these uh, natives into Santo Domingo. Check the fleet status again. As you can see, the um, you can see what they think about um, what everyone thinks about things. The Dutch are very happy with us for capturing that wanted criminal. I'm glad the peace is over, but uh, I am a bit disappointed with the that the Dutch and the Spanish not being at war. Let's have these canoes enter Santo Domingo properly. L l defeated by local militia, that's exactly what, it, what we wanted to see. Was it a tavern? Recruit some guys, like my gold mates. Yeah, I would like to know. Southwest of Port de Pa. Alright. Now we know where the where the pirate treasure is. I'm gonna show you a trick now. Let's sail away. We were not able to just attack Santa Domingo right out, but we can anchor right next to her and then walk along the shore. Yeah, we get the opportunity to attack her. This is a decent start location, I think, both of those. Let's move the buccaneers into cover straight away. If we are lucky, then we will get them to shoot at shoot at the buccaneers who are in cover. That's uh, that's what we want because the buccaneers are they are so weak. We might as well use use them as gun fodder. Oh, the Spanish are very split up. Can we move it? We can shoot at them. Let's do that. Get a few shots in. These guys can as well, so let's do that. Open fire. Move the officers back a bit, I think, not in order to have the guards actually fire at them. They usually shoot at the closest one. At this point, I think I will be risking the Buccaneers actually getting attacked. Just in order to be able to shoot at these guys. Have the officers rem remain, everyone hold position. These guys wait as well. You guys can move into the forest like this able to counter them when they come. Oh, they attacked. Just butchering my, butchering my Buccaneers. That went as expected. The Buccaneers are very weak. Now the guards are shooting at the pirates in the forest. Um, we are slowly losing that fight. So let's not continue doing that. Move these Buccaneers into position there. Move these pirates back a bit. These officers can move into the forest and just straight out attack these guys. So we just traded our buccaneers for the 
gods, and I thought that was worthwhile. You can stand around here in reserve, and you'll wait there. Now we're slowly taking damage. And the guards are interesting with a fire change on these uh, buccaneers, and we are in cover, so let's oblige them as we deal more damage. And um, charge in, I say. The guards can now flank us quite badly. Um, let's hope they don't. Move the pirates into position. Oh, I moved them in the wrong order. That doesn't matter. Ah, that's a good thing that they shot at us. That means that we will flank them right about now. Since they have the flank to our, I think these pirates will finish them off. So we won at this front, let's continue this little skirmish over here, and uh, have everyone skip their turn. No, finish this. I went alright, I think. Oh, we get such a ransom. And we get to choose a, a new governor. <laughs> I am sad that the French are upset with us. Uh, this might actually be an opportunity to change that. Uh, however, the burgers would... Let's go with the Dutch anyway. <laughs> Let's see if he forgot to give us anything. No? I seem to have remembered everything. Let's visit the merchant, see if we can sell stuff. Sell a few guns. I have a... Oh! This is highly situational. There are cheaper ways of getting this. We have to dispose of cargo if we sell Dristigheten and I am tempted to do so. So let's get rid of all the food. Visit the tavern. No guys to recruit. Let's rebuy the food for the same price so that we have three months worth of it. And visit the shipwright and sell Dristigheten I think. And for the money we spent on, we gained from there, let's upgrade for Iron Scoutlings. That means we will take less damage. And hopefully that means that we will be repairing less. Leave town. We should really be sailing for the French. There is a way of doing this. We could sneak into the town in a little uh, minigame, but that is very risky and it's not very fun. Uh, we could perhaps have a look at it, but I usually try to avoid doing that. However, we could visit this place and we could be lucky. You remember that, that guy who tried to tell uh, sell us this information? 
We just get, got it for free from these guys. He don't have any, anything else to say. Let's say it. Let's not piss the French off that hard, I think. Let's avoid them for now. Let's not attack them straight out of port. And there comes a invasion force. They are heading for... I don't know what. Let's check the news and see if anything's happened. We only have one month left of food. It's time for us to attack someone. Tortuga? That's good. Talk to the abbot. The French have put... Well, that was what I'm talking about. The French have put the price on our head. You are basically a good person. If you wish, I could send Paolo to his friend. Governor Petit Goab, and he will grant you amnesty. Yes, we will escort him personally. This is good. This is good for us. But at this point, someone will be coming from around here. Pirates will be moving to intercept us. Someone don't, uh, don't want us to be on good footing with the French. Enough to send three ships to stop this guy who wanted to propose an amnesty for us. See if we can deal with these ships. This is basically the, what you want from naval battles when you have a sloop. You just want to be able to keep moving away, them chasing you, not catching up, and just dropping chain shots on them. This is going very well. I'm glad we got this ship. Let's build a little distance. One of these ships will act as escort and that will not surrender. As you see, they still have the, have the colors on their flag. The main one there, they got a white flag now when we shot them. So if we just keep shooting at the escort, do a little damage and sneak in! And I, I capture the one we were going for. We can drop a few guns. This ship is nothing to have. Sink her, drop a few guns. And here is a pirate sloop of war, good fortune. She is a bit larger than our ship. Uh, I, no, we have a sloop of war, right? Forget what I said. Let's finish this fight. And I think that will be enough for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. Let's uh, save at slot 2. And uh, we'll resume the adventures of Bjorn's Troll next time. Goodbye.